Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple trick, but it's very efficient and it's easier to work. However, if you are, let's say you're doing a long bone imaging for the whole hand and you do multiple boxes of a transversal, a T2, stir, T1 and so on. So how can you make it fast, do a copy function fast and make it more or less precisely on each different weighted and then automatically compose it, stitch it together. Stick around and I'll show you. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an Amar Rider and I go for in my channel I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amar topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there are way you can do a copy function which is faster. Let's say you have multiple boxes for the whole abdominal, for the whole arm and so on. And there's just a simple trick you tick on which makes things much easier. So let's go to the scanner and I show you. All right, we are currently at the 1.5 touch layer. It doesn't matter if we work anyways if you are 3T or low feel. However, we are at axis 70 and it will be working on, on the previous version as well. So as you can see in front of you here, we had a localizer right here. It's a very large uh, uh, area of coverage. So there are two localizer, an upper part, a lower part, and then it's just composed together, just to show you. Okay, let's say you're gonna have the top of the liver all the way down to the pelvic area. So of course you will need at least two boxes here, right? Two boxes of breath hole, a T1, Vibe Dixon, and a Haste or whatever. And I will show you now, just wait. Let's go to the Siemens tree and we will pick up one simple sequence, Vibe Dixon, just to show you. We find it right here and it's a 3D. So let's just choose this one. So we open this one. I'm sorry, we're going to rename it. I'm just going to rename it to make it easier. Just call it one, step one. But the name is too long. We have to delete a little bit here. So you see the number one. Okay, so you open this box. It, it, Covers good, but it's not covering the whole area of interest. So we are interested here at the top of the liver down to the bottom of the pelvic. So whatever you're doing here now, we're just going to try to just have in your mind, you have two boxes. So in this case, I'm just going to lower a little bit of slices just to have two nice boxes with good coverage and overlap. So it's like this. This one is good now for breath hole covering the liver part, but we need also one for the lower part. So what you can do now, go to geometry team planning and then you can go to what we call set and go protocol this is very helpful function so set and go you can see now it's adding step two we already had one step which i told you we is covering the liver step two will be covering the lower part so if you only put set and go it will be like more um, upon each other like you can see here so we need to manually move the, the lower part down so we're just gonna try to take off a couple graphics off so if you take off group graphics off then you're able to to adjust without them hanging together right so I'm just gonna try to get a hold of the lower one there you just move it down like that so we have a good coverage here you can see the overlap is is somewhere in between here you can see this first the first box the second box is there it just says number one number two here because i just made it fast of course you want number one in the top and number two in the bottom this is just an illustration how you can do this and how you can coverage at a large area of two boxes in this case and if you need a third one you just add one the plus there you get a third one but we only need two in this case and then you go to inline composing. With the inline composing, it will automatically stitch together whenever it's finished. So we have a multiple composing function here. I just use adaptive. And you can name this as a T1 by Dixon or whatever, transversal comp as a compose. And whenever the sequence is finished, if you have all the four images, like in Dixon, in, out, what, and fat, they will compose together and they would separately. Uh, separate for you for four different uh, sequences right different weighted so it's all composed it's perfect so we can push go now but i'm just going to drag over just a sequence to make everything stop so i can apply for you to show I just push like this go and then we are finished with the t1 vibe dixon let's say we're going to have a t2 haste so a haste we need we can do it very fast like i'm going to show you now 
we go to T2. We find a T2 haze like this. It's a multi -breadfold. So let's just try to cover the liver part first. Just around 25 slices like this. And then geometry. Team planning. And then set and go. No, we don't need to push set and go. It just takes time. What you're going to do now, you right click on your vibe, your sequence, which was your first uh, coverage. You take copy, right click, copy parameters as seen there. You just choose center of slices group. And this is the much important part, this one, steps. If you put steps on, it will automatically give you two steps, okay? like this so the coverage is more or less the same uh, as previous but of course it's a 3d sequence versus a, a 2d but however it's much faster the field of view is is uh, upon each other and so on and so on and the next part you can do now is just put on the inline composing so you're making sure that your t2 haste will also automatically compose itself whenever it's finished and let me show you what happens if you don't push that magic step button. So let's open this one and you right click. Uh, sorry, just change 25. And you right click on the sequence like this. And you only choose center of slices and you didn't tick on the steps. So let's see now. You see, it's only copying one of that step. In, in this case, the lower step. So what you really want is you want to have both of them all together, right? This is important if you do a long bone of the, of the arm, you have multiple field of views, multiple transversal steps, boxes, and you want it to be all um, look alike from a T2 weighted, from a stir weighted, from a T1, and so on and so on. So this is the way you can do it much faster and making sure that the coverage is correct. So again, right click, copy, and push on the steps. That's it. And remember to turn on the inline composing and it will automatically compose for you. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nonetheless, I didn't know about this function. It's just randomly I was looking at it. What is this button? I was trying it out. And oh, yeah, it saved a lot of time. And you didn't have to make one box, two box, and then copying again. So it's much faster and easier. So that's why I wanted to share this idea or these uh, tips with you guys. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Did you know about this approach? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, so we get a ding ding whenever new videos for me are coming up. Until next time, take care and peace out.